Well, would you let your kids play in a park after dark or walk home alone from school. It's called by many free-range parenting. A couple in the US have sparked controversy for allowing their children who are aged 10 and 6 to play in a nearby park after 5pm. A concerned passerby called police. Police then took the kids into protective custody for a number of hours until they were allowed back into their parents' care. The couple first made headlines back in December when their kids were spotted walking home from the park alone. They were even investigated by police, even though it is not a criminal charge. And the parents say that they are anti-helicopter parents and that they have no problem with letting their son and daughter play outside without supervision. But is it wise in this day and age? Joining me now is Amanda Lambrose from Curtin University. Amanda, good morning to you. Good morning, Tim. Firstly, let's talk about free-range parenting. It's uh, often used uh, as a contrast to helicopter parenting. but. Exactly what is it? Basically it's a type of parenting that allows children a little more independence um, to kind of go out and do things on their own and they get to choose when they want to eat, when they want to go to sleep, where they want to play and how often they want to do that. Alright, just focusing on the play aspect at the moment. Um, a couple of decades ago, it might have been normal, this sort of stuff, walking home from... I used to walk home from school. <laughs> Absolutely. In my early years of uh, primary school, and it was quite normal. I certainly wasn't alone there. Yeah. Have times really changed that much? I think times have changed. In reality, I used to do the same thing. I'd go across the street, grab a friend, and then go out to the park and play with my friends. Um, but times have changed and society has changed as well, so it's you need to kind of pay attention a little more. Well, these parents in this case in the US say that they are teaching their kids self-reliance by going out and experiencing the world on their own. Is there some merit in that or is that a dangerous game? Well, I would say there is some merit in that, but on the same hand, you still need to do your risk, risk assessments and make sure that the student, that your children or the kids that are doing this aren't at risk and that, you know, the areas they're in are actually quite safe. Uh, the age of these kids, uh, is that a factor, particularly looking at the younger kid here, six years old? Uh, is that too young for this sort of independent learning? I think what they need to do is actually just take those things into consideration when they're doing the risk assessment. There's great benefits to doing things on your own as children, as you would know, because you had that experience as well. But there's also the limitations that they have to be aware of. All right, so is there a, a recommended age that you would uh, let kids off the leash a little bit or loosen that leash and go oh. out and experience the outside world? <laughs> That's the thing. Every kid is unique, so I think you have to kind of take it with the child that you're dealing with. So you kind of have to pay attention to what your child is able to do. Not hard being, not difficult to make it, sorry, it is very difficult, I meant to say, you know, being a parent these days, isn't it? Yeah, Advice absolutely. Advice from everywhere. Absolutely. All right, Amanda, thanks for your time this morning. Have a great day.